Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up Call here at Crafters Companion TV. And you'll notice it's a little bit of a different face this morning. So I'm taking over. Craig's having a little rest. He's been really busy on HSN. He's having a lie in that lazy sausage. But you know, I thought, why not? Let's take over. We'll have a look at some products. We'll do it my styley. It's hump day today, isn't it? Um, and so I thought, you know, let's put all the sparkles on. Let's have a happy hump day this Wednesday um, and if you're not if you're not familiar with what wake up call is then we're here Monday through Friday 9 a.m. in the UK 4 a.m. Eastern time and 1 a.m. Pacific time and we're here for all of your real inspiration and we're picking out picks of the day for the shows that are coming up and showing you a little sneak of the product now because um, if you don't know hello I'm Leanne and I am Head of Product Development here at Crafters Companion. I've been with the business now for 11 years and myself and my team are responsible for bringing you all of the fantastic products that you see Crafters Companion bring to you um, all of the time on all of our different shopping channels. Now, you're gonna meet three of them today. You're gonna to meet three of our extremely talented designers which i'm thrilled about we're going to give you a little look behind the scenes we might give you a couple of sneak peeks see what we're up to we're going to be able to see how incredibly talented these people are um, and of course if you've got questions for them get them in on all of our social get your comments in um, so we can have a look and we're going to meet one of our designers just straight away we're going to dive on in there but do get your questions through and let us know what you would like to ask them because you know i'm sure your questions will be different to mine so rachel rachel irvine rachel is our newest member in the mm -hmm. product development team aren't you rachel how long have you been with us now oh god and um, about five months no, three or four months three or four months yeah, it hasn't uh, been long has it no it's been there. really quick yeah. but you've settled in really quickly haven't you yeah, yeah how are you enjoying your work in the product development team? i'm really enjoying it so it's like i've learned so many things and tried so many different projects so it's kind of really fast paced but i've really enjoyed it yeah it's good it, it is fast paced yeah. isn't it is uh, do you think it's different to what you expected it was going to be it is um it is because I, I do more like the product stuff so it's a lot of like the drawing aspects of things which i really enjoy so it's been it's been a whirlwind but it's been good yeah it is absolutely and rachel's going to be doing some live drawing for us in the studio so that you can see just how um talented our fabulous illustrators and designers are in my team incredibly proud of them i talk about that all the time so brilliant that we've got rachel here and she's able to to do that and draw and we'll we'll catch up with you in okay. a little minute rachel yeah, you cool. can you can start drawing <laughs> and we'll get a sneak peek of that in a little time right now on craft vault today which is 11 a.m 6 a.m eastern and 3 a.m pacific time my gosh i will learn these times eventually all the times it's also going to be at 7 p.m in the uk 2 p.m eastern and 11 a.m oh pacific time i beg your pardon 11 a.m pacific time and we're going to have lots of different demonstrations in each show and actually I'm going to be doing the craft vault for you today so it's great that I have got um, the opportunity to give you a little sneak peeks as well as do the craft vault show now we've got buy one get one for a penny are you having a laugh craft vault <gasps> buy one get one for a penny that is absolutely when you need to um, be stashing up your basket craft vault is absolutely fantastic we're going to have a look over now and and have a look at some of the products that we're going to have in craft vault and we're going to be looking at the creator card which is one of my absolute favorite ranges of products because they are so incredibly versatile um, and easy to use now we also have a masterclass coming up today um, which is 1 p.m in the uk 8 a.m eastern and 5 a.m pacific time we are going to be foil pressing our hearts out in that masterclass and really trying very hard to get more in stock for our us viewers and customers um, and we've got a goodie bag in there which has got some great stuff in and we're going to be going right back to the beginning it is a master class at the end of the day it's a product that i personally worked on and developed with our factories and so we're going to be really getting into the nuts and bolts of that now we've also got creative cravings today at 4 p.m in the uk 11 a.m in uh, eastern time and 8 a.m pacific time and 
that is going to be our twirling characters. Again, one of my favourite products, one of my favourite boxes, craft kits that we've got here. Um, and it just is phenomenal. And so I'm really excited today that I get to do all of the shows. Honestly, it's just like Leanne Channel today. Ridiculous. So I'm doing now for Craig. I've got our craft fold. I've got our masterclass and I've got our creative cravings later. All of the shows. But you know what? I'm really excited about that. And I thought it's Wednesday. Get the sparkles on. Get your sparkles on today and send me in your telfies. That would be lovely to see, wouldn't it? Now, I'm going to have a look at a couple of comments while I'm grabbing all of the things that I need at the same time to be able to show you how these fabulous creator cards work. So I'm just going to bring my Gemini Junior over. Let's get the power on. That's always a helpful thing, isn't it? Putting my iPad down. So I've got two hands to use. I keep forgetting about that. It's so much quicker with two hands rather than one, isn't it? Now, do get your comments in. So I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to have a little look and see what you're saying to us. See what questions you've got for my team when we go and have a little, have a little chat with them and we have a sneak peek at what, at what Rachel's doing now. Judy, Judy loves my outfit. Thank you, Judy. I did it especially for all of you. I thought, you know what? I'm doing my first wake-up call with Craig, but it's wake-up call with Leanne. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get the sparkles on. Why not? Just makes everybody, made me feel happier this morning. Sparkles always make you feel happier, don't they? Or is that just me? Or is it you too? Sparkles, let me know if sparkles don't make you happy. I'd be interested to know that, actually. Right, let's grab a piece of cardstock. Okay, so this particular product here, our creator cards, are fantastic and I'm going to grab my guillotine which I'm going to be showing you a little bit later in the show but I'm getting it now because actually I want to cut and fold a card base to use with my creator card and your guillotine will do that for you we'll come back and talk more about it later too but what I'm able to do here is just get the perfect size now actually I want my big guillotine actually did you know that there are more than one guillotine in the Crafters Companion range? So the small one didn't have enough space for me to make a card base. The large one, because of its handy little pop-out ruler, I know, uh, is going to let me do it. And um, you know, I might have had a hand in. I might have had a hand in that design there, guys. You know, I mean, I might have. Uh, I did. I did, I did, but it's really important because I know you want a poppy out ruler to work with your bigger pieces of card. Now, let's just see, where do I need to score this? I'm going to score this at five and three quarters. Let's just put this down out the way for now. Um, we, we don't want that falling down on the sparkles, do we? And I'm going to score. So not only is my guillotine a cutting machine, it is a scoring board as well. And the scoring tool comes in there for you so that you don't lose it so it's my scoring board and it's my trimming tool so I now want this down to um, six inches which I can do here because my creator card is four by six so I'm going to just have that a little bit bigger and trim that down and then my um, creator card is four inches so I'm going to have this at about four and a quarter to make my card there trim that down and I've got two layers of card there, so I have scored and cut my card base, ready to use this fabulous little creator card, using my guillotine, or as some of you in the US call it, guillotine. Your guillotine, we're, we're multi, multilingual here at Crafters Companion TV, so you can do your guillotine or guillotine. Now, let me just see, I could have done with my Gemini machine for that. But I am going to see if we can make this work in this way. Let's do it like this and see if we can make it work. Do you know what? I might go through two layers of card here. Do you know what? I'm going to try and... Do you know what? I'm just pushing all the boundaries today. I've decided we're going to see if this creator card can go through two layers of cardstock with, um, with the addition of the metal plate. And do you know what? It may work. It may not work. We will find out. And that is the joy of these shows here at Crafters Companion, isn't it? Where we can just experiment and see what happens. So let's run this through the junior, see what happens. It's thinking about it. It's got a metal shim in there and two layers of card, but I think the junior can do it. I'm feeling pretty confident. 
It is a very powerful machine, uh, as are all of the Gemini machines in the entire range. They are exactly what you need. Now, just throwing the tape on the floor. You'll forgive me. <gasps> oh, hello. It's where, oh my word. Now, look, can I just talk to you about this for a second? This is showing you the quality of our creator cards and the also quality of our electronic die cutting machines. Abs I mean, honestly, I'll, I'm going to be honest with you right now because I couldn't be anything else. I, w I was a little bit worried. I thought, I'm doing this. I don't know if it's going to work. And then I'm gonna, we're going we're gonna to work out what we're going to do afterwards. Oh, no. Our creator cards in our machines have cut through two layers of watercolour card and created you a see-through. How fantastic is that? Because now all we needed an extra piece of card behind or maybe some acetate or some of the beautiful vellum that we had in our Sarah's Caring Thoughts range yesterday. Or you could do another panel with your watercolour inks and ink that all up and put it behind. But look, so all of the creator cards in that range, you can now create, and that is a 300 GSM card stock. So that die in the junior with the addition of the metal plate went through two layers of 300 GSM cardstock, 600 GSM and cut this complete 360 degree card with all of that detail in there. Now I know all of the other um, dies that we've got in that collection too, you're going to be able to make some phenomenal card bases and all I did was use our guillotine guillotine and that fantastic creator card. How fabulous is that now guys what should we do next should we have a look at some comments let's have a little should we have a little check and then we'll, we'll do this we'll talk to you and then we'll go and see what rachel's doing okay and i need my glasses one second because this happened this happened when i got to the age of 48 and it's tragic needing glasses to read now but i do now let's see where we are gosh all the comments my word wow okay Let's see, there's all of the comments here. I just need to get to the beginning. Wow, how many of you are there? Let me scroll to the beginning. Scrolling. Oh, my word. Scrolling. Where are they? Here they are. Gosh, I'm having to scroll. Let's oh, here, I've got them now. Right, Rita. Rita. Rita McNamee on Facebook. Good morning, Rita. Rita says, sparkles are fab. Looking wonderful, you know, sparkles, Leanne. You have a very busy day ahead of you. I do, Rita, and I will be fueling myself on English breakfast tea and chocolate. That's going to be my day. Um, Hannah Horn on Facebook. Hello, Hannah, how are you? Um, it's been a while since we've seen you, but Hannah has been to our Craftaganza events in the past and also made us all some beautiful soaps and sent them in as gifts for us presenters. Hello to you, Hannah. She says she loves her big guillotine. It cuts so smoothly. You're absolutely right. Sarah Irvine says, ha oh, Sarah Irvine. <laughs> Sarah Irvine has messaged in her big sister. Oh, Is it big sister or little sister? It's my big sister. Your yeah. big sister. Big sisters are always proud. <laughs> always proud. I'm proud of my little sister. Oh, Sarah Irvine on YouTube says, Hi, Leanne. I'm Rachel's sister. So proud. She's such a wonderful artist. She is Sarah. She's a wonderful artist and we're thrilled to have her here at Crafters Companion and be able to introduce her to all of our wonderful customers across the world this morning and just showcase how talented she is. Thank you very much for taking the time, Sarah, to message in. Isn't that lovely of you? Yes. All the family love. <laughs> if we could do the cuddles, that's lovely. Thank you so much. Um, should we go and have a look at what Rachel's doing? Let's do. Let's have a little wander um, and go and see. Take the glasses off, Leanne. They're not attractive. Um, and let's go and see what Rachel's doing because she is such a talented artist. She has done so many fabulous things for us um, in her short time with Crafters Companion. And one of the things actually that really wanted me to um, have Rachel on the team when we went through the interview process was her incredible illustration technique. Mean, glorious, gorgeous girl, of course, <laughs> and fabulously fitted in. But her talent when it comes to illustration be absolutely phenomenal. Um, so Rachel, what have you been doing? So um, I've just been drawing some of these flowers because uh, I'm just kind of showing <coughs> the process of how we do stamps here. So with like the line illustration and then how 
Uh, yeah, how people can then um, use these to then colour them in. And oh, and, and so you've just started that this morning. Mm -hmm. And that's already coming together. Amazing. I mean, it just blows my... I, I cannot draw. My, we've talked about this before on many shows, Rachel. And my scale is that little face I put on the back of my projects. I'll grab one. There's a card on the shelf and I'll show you my skill in a second when we're not looking at me. And also I can do a cut, which is two circles and a couple of triangles. For ears. <laughs> that is it. I have zero skill. And so when I see somebody with that just inherent talent, mm -hmm. it blows my mind. Okay. I'm so incredibly excited about it and in awe of it. Mm. And really it is, it is phenomenal. Okay. And it's wonderful that we can bring all of that talent via our stamps that we do and our dyes and our Sarah signature ranges and nature garden ranges and all of those things we do which have been drawn and illustrated by our fabulous in-house in-house very talented people and um, can we just have a look at what Rachel was doing again because I really love that I just think it looked I mean that is just from this morning <laughs> it is absolutely unbelievable and I mean that's I mean not even 20 minutes and you've got something which is already looking gorgeous and I think I think we should make that into a stamp, Rachel. Should, should we do that? Wouldn't it be wonderful stamp. if eventually we launched this as a product and it started here on Craft Vault, all of us together, watching with Rachel. Let's do yeah, that, exactly. Rachel. We're going to do that. We're going to have this as a definite stamp. I've, I've grabbed for you to show you my artist ability. <laughs> uh, that is it. Oh, that's as good as it gets. I mean, see... <laughs> Thank goodness that I'm not drawing any products for Crafters Companion, I can tell you, because that is a self-portrait. Um, in my ear, they said, is that a shamrock? I know my hair looks a bit like a shamrock, but it's actually a self-portrait. Um, there we go, but never mind. Okay, so now we've also got a team of other talented designers too, who, because of social distancing, are, well, actually not even that, just because I need them to get on with their work, are in the <laughs> office doing their day job. So we're going to go over and we're going to have a chat with Joe. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Good morning. Morning. I shouted at him as we ran past the desk this morning. Now, <laughs> Joe, how long have you been with Crafters Companion? Uh, probably just over 18 months. 18 months. So quite a new designer too. How are you finding it? I think it's really it's really nice to work for crafters because it's such a it's a, a a growing company but it's really close knit in the team and everything like that. That's brilliant. And we, we do have a very close knit team. We have you know we have cake Fridays and coffee Tuesdays and latte Wednesdays and sweetie sweetie Mondays. I mean we do. There's a lot of food in the product development team. We like to look after each other. Joe, tell me what is your favourite product that you've designed for Crafters Companion? I'd say it's probably the jigsaw dies, which have just recently launching, uh, a larger one coming up next month. Yes, absolutely. Um, now, Joe designed the first jigsaw die, which sold out in flash record time. And then he's just designed the one that we've just launched yesterday and also sold out in flash record time. And if you're in the UK thinking, but I have not seen those jigsaw dies, they're coming to you, don't worry. Um, Joe, have you got a sneaky peek of something else you did there with the jigsaws? Um, or have I've, you got something else up ready for us? I've got another exciting development. Okay, let's have a look at that soon. instead. So this is an expansion on the twist and pop dies that we've done recently in a couple of different ranges. We're doing a whole bespoke range just for <laughs> twist and pops. That so. is absolutely brilliant, Joe. Those twist and pops are fantastic. Um, I was just having a little mooch to switch my foil press on because we're going to have a look at that in a second. Now, these are the shaped twist and pops that Joe's designed for us, and these are coming up soon. So if you're wondering what a twist and pop is, twist and pop is what we had in the... A precious memory album so if you remember when you open it out it pops out into four panels and you can put little photographs on it what Joe has done is work in collaboration with another designer and they have come up together himself and Kay with these fabulous shaped twist and pops so actually the shape pops out of the card uh, so you've got that to look forward to guys and I know you're absolutely going to absolutely going to love them thank you so much joe it was lovely chatting with you this morning uh, thank you. get back to work now young man um okay so next we're going to have a look at our master class which is at 1 p.m today in the uk 8 a.m eastern and 5 a.m 5 a.m. Pacific time for you. And I'm going to be focusing on our foil press machine. 
which is a phenomenal crafting machine and is brilliant for working with your junior and gives you all of those amazing foiled results which you love hot foiling and means you can hot foil onto many many different surfaces it really is truly fabulous i adore it um, and in the master class we're going to be focusing on is if you've never touched the foil press before um, and it's your first foray into foiling and go through all of the special little techniques that you might need to be able to do it and how to get the best out of it and you know what if you've got some ideas of things you'd like to see as well I'm just going to grab my foil press if you've got some um, ideas of things you'd like to see with the foil press things that you might have heard it can do but haven't seen it do send us in your comments and we will absolutely look at showing you how to get the best out of it now i'm going to grab my plates here and you can see here that everything you get in that little collection um, and you're going to get a hundred bonus points with um with this machine if you get it today now um oh i think i might have, have no that's a double-sided die plate i'm looking for a foil press top plate is what i'm looking for guys um okay so it's do you know what we've got everybody we've got everybody rallying uh, while we look at that do you know what let's look at some comments while we're finding my foil press top plate for me let's um let's have a look at the social comments why not i need my glasses for that let's have a chat with you and then it's coming up to heat as well so it's warming itself up it's having a think our team's warming itself up sprinting around finding the top press for me i mean what i like to get i like to challenge them i like to get them we're walking up on happy hump wednesday Christy Lozot on Facebook says, I can't even draw a state line without a ruler. So Rachel, you are awesome. I agree, Christy. I agree. Rachel is awesome. Um, right. Sarah says, crafters, so tell fees. Crafters sent one in with the clock to show the time. It's after 8 p.m. Wednesday night in the future. That's messed with my mind. I feel like, hello, what? I feel like the doctor, I feel like the doctor, 1.21 gigawatts in Back to the Future. I mean, I've got his hair. Marty, Marty, you're going to the future. No, I mean, honestly, that has messed with my mind. Um, I do love those movies, Back to the Future, I have to say. I felt like, a bit like Marty McFly, although I know I look like the Doctor. Uh, Hannah, oh, Hannah loved our guillotine. We've got that comment. Thank you, thank you again. Curran Beeston, what a really good name. Would love to see the process of how stamps are made. Oh, I think that's a brilliant idea. We might, we might have to try and... We might have to try and think about how we would show you that on a future wake-up call. Yeah, I'm good. let me work out how the Dickens I would do that for you, Kieran. It's a really good idea. Crystal, wow, look at those twists and pops. Amazing. We've got my incoming... Um, oh, that's not what I need, guys. But thank you. What I need is the top plate for a foil press. Oh, thank you so much. They're running again. It's wonderful. Do you know what, you know what we need? Does everybody know Benny Hill? That's what they're doing. Um, now, Lindsay, sparkles are fabulous, Leanne. Just like you, love Rachel's drawing. It's amazing. Love the idea of the design and a stamp. Can we also have a matching die too? Pretty please. Yes, I think that's an excellent idea, Lindsay. Now, Ruth is ready to chat to us. And well, let's have a little chat with Ruth. Um, because Ruth is one of our other talented designers here at Crafters Companion and you all need to be kind and give Ruth loads of encouragement because Ruth is a little bit shy aren't you Ruth aren't you Ruth are you a little bit shy uh, a little bit a little bit just a little bit <laughs> so we're, got, we're all going to give the love to Ruth Ruth how long have you been with Crafters Companion um, it'll since when tell me that again um, seven, years in April. seven years in April oh my word that is absolutely phenomenal I mean I know Ruth and I have worked together for a long time hadn't realized it had been seven years tell me what you love about working a crafters companion Ruth um, I think it's um, good for work on a variety of different projects all the time it's like fast paced so you're always on the go time you never know um, seeing all the projects that you've designed on the TV is really nice that's fun that and is wonderful. Really nice friendly team. I'll get on really well. So have a good 
That is brilliant. And uh, Ruth, what we're going to do, we're going to come back and have a little chat with you in a minute because you were a little bit like Stan Boardman there, love. And we didn't hear everything that you wanted to say as beautifully as we could. So we're going to go and fix that for our viewers at home. And we're going to come back to you and have a little chat in a second. Is that OK? Yeah, no worries. All right. Thank you, Ruth. And so now that I've got my top plates for... Um, for <laughs> Oh, not quite, but I think I might have seen one under here. You wouldn't think it would be that difficult, would you? But hang on, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me have another... Hang on. It's like, now you see me, now you don't. Uh, one second while I grab this. Here, let's have a little rummage, little rummage, little rummage. Here we are. I got it, guys. Don't you fret. I found one. I just knew if I had enough time to rummage. I just didn't want to be rummaged under the counter. Right. Foil presses here. I've got my top plate for you and I've got the machine switched on and foil presses come up to speed, up to heat. So I'm going to have a little rummage in this goodie bag um, because we have got, got, we've got these coming up, you know. Um, what? Shut the front door. We've got £90 or $120 worth of product in here in this goodie bag. Oh. <sighs> But it's at a very good price when we come to this masterclass show. So tune into the masterclass show because not is it only about everything you need to know how to use your machine. It's going to be about the really good deals too. Um, now, if you buy more than one of these, you might get a duplicate product. We can't make sure that every single one is different. We're just flinging the great product in and selling it at a very ridiculous price. Um, so be aware of that when you come to the masterclass. Now, I'm having a look to see what it is we're going to use. Do you know what? I think we're going to do this one because it's really pretty. I love it. And... Um, shows you some of the fabulous features that we've got in here which are our foil stamp and cut dies now with a foil stamp and cut die it does both for you it foils and it stamps and cuts so I'm going to take this out of the packet notice I've put a metal plate on here don't worry about this too much now we're going to cover all of this in our masterclass when we get to it later on today guys so tune back in then and you will see exactly what I'm referring to I've got my foil stamp and cut die there ready I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock to an approximate size there we go approximate size and I'm going to get a piece of foil ready as well now um, in the foil press box when you get the foil press you get some foil to get you started but um, I'm sure oh you get some dies too by the way so in that foil press box you get foil stamp dies you get all of the plates you need you get a little bit of foil and you get um, the tweezers you get the little the little nippers to save your fingers i've got them around here somewhere you get your silicon mat here it is here i can wave that at you silicon mat um, to put your dies on you get an instruction book i can wave that at you as well um, and so it tells you all of the things you need it takes you by the hand gives you a suggestion of timing so you can get some good results can anybody get sticky tape off fingers when they're isn't that really annoying when you get a bit of sticky tape on there and it just won't go away? Um, you get a little bit of foil and you get all of your education. But, you know, you know, if you've been watching us for a long time, that we have, even if you've been watching us for a short amount of time, you'll know that we have got a ridiculous amount of fabulous tutorials. This piece of sticky tape won't go away. What is it? I've still got it. I keep putting it down and it keeps coming, keeps coming back. Go away tape, I don't need you. Um, it's got everything you need. We've got all sorts of tutorials on YouTube as well with our masterclasses. So you can always go along and watch those. Right, now then, I'm going to get my little booklet out here. And I'm probably going to need my specs too. Oh, they're in front of me, thank goodness. Because normally I'm going, I need my glasses and they're on my head. So thank you for pointing that out. Here we go. And this is the bit that you need in your manual, which is the timings for you now i'm just going to use my pencil so we've got foil stamp dies foil stamp and cut dies and it says for 300 gsm cardstock which is what i've got for a small a medium or a large die here are the timings that i need now the die i'm going to use is small because it takes one third of the plate and you'll hear us talk about this in masterclass the rule of thirds one third two third whole plate small medium large die if you're wondering how you assess that so i know that this is a small die because it's taking one third of my plate i can position it however this way if i like to it doesn't matter still a small die 
So when I look at that now, I know that I need this for 20 seconds. So I put 20 seconds on my clock. Click start. It will start to uh, warm up ready. And I've got my cardstock ready here. And I've also got my piece of foil ready. 20 seconds goes incredibly quickly. Um, as you all know, in fact, we're already nearly there. And then the machine will beep to let me know it's ready to do the foiling. So here we go. Three, two, one. I'm ready. Thank you very much, master, uh, Masterclass. Thank you very much, Foil Press. Put the foil on. Put the foil on and then put the cardstock on. Put your top plate on and then we're going to run it through. Now, when you're removing this plate from the foil press, and we'll cover it in Masterclass again, which remember is at 1 p.m. today in the UK, 8 a.m. Eastern Time and 5 a.m. Pacific Time, um, we're going to cover all of the skills you need in that Masterclass for the foiling. You pull it out smoothly, offer it through your Gemini Junior, it runs through and it will do the foiling and the cutting for us for a beautiful foiled doily for our craft projects and it will do it in one pass. Now let me just get this out, use my tweezers, come out doily, there we go and then let's reveal, let's get the foil off, just get your fingers in, come on Leanne, oh there it is, I've got a little bit there. Oh, I've lost all my fingernails recently. There we are. Oh, I've got it there. There we are. <gasps> are we ready? Look at that. And so we managed to foil and cut that in one pass. Isn't that absolutely beautiful for one of your projects? And what I love, and I love the fact that we've got cameras who can get in really close now, it actually foils the edge of the card. You can see that there, look. The foiling goes all the way round the edge. How absolutely stunning and beautiful is that? And that is just one of the dies that I pilfered uh, out of the goodie bag. I think I need to put it back. I'm looking for the packaging. Can't find it. You'll forgive me. I'll find it later. There it is. Back in the goodie bag. So that goodie bag probably won't get sent out to you because I've rummaged in it. Well, now, foil press. If you're interested, if that is wet your whistle a little bit and you want to know more about foil press then that is coming up in masterclass today 1 p.m uk time 8 a.m eastern and 5 a.m pacific time and you'll be able to watch along all of the tips and don't forget you get 100 bonus points if you take advantage um, of the deal on the machine in the masterclass today so you can always shop ahead if you want to and then be confident that you've got it and your 100 bonus points and then just watch all the instructions later um now Gosh, should we have a look at a couple of comments? Wow, I think I'm going to need a lie down after this wake up call, you know, guys. It's fast paced, isn't it? Apparently, we've only got 20 minutes left. Where has that 40 minutes gone? How, how can I talk for 40 minutes without taking a breath and get all of the information in? Right, I'm going to take two, I'm just going to have, have a little relax for two minutes and have a chat with you. So that's what wake up call is all about, isn't it? It's about talking to you, having a chat, showing you what's coming up, finding out what you think. Um, Angela, Angela Muircroft on YouTube says, Leanne, open the bag. Let us see what's in the bag. <laughs> pretty, pretty, please. Oh, Angela, you are naughty. You know how I do love a little challenge. I'm going to be a good girl right now. Tune into Masterclass. But you never know. I might get bored in five minutes and do it for you. Who knows? Who knows, Angela? Stay tuned. You never know what could happen when Leanne's being put in charge of a show. Sarah Brown on Facebook, who's in Melbourne, Australia. <gasps> Hello. Welcome, Sarah. Leanne, if you get this comment, the time for Masterclass here is about midnight. This is marvellous. Thank you, Sarah. If you get the comment in time, Masterclass in Melbourne, Australia is about midnight. So your brain will really do flips. It will be Thursday morning. Oh, my word. I am absolutely, I'm back, I'm Marty McFly. I'm back to the future. I'm in the DeLorean, really. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know which time. It's like doing the time warp. It's like the Rocky Horror Show, but I won't dress like that for you. I'll keep it at Sparkles. Um, oh, Judy, Judy, you've messaged in and said the foil press is sold out in the US. We are trying to get more for the show, Judy. We've got 
all of the powers that be, all of the very clever people with the spreadsheets and the contacts and the factories and the shipping, because we know what that's like at the moment, they're all working it out and we're trying to get more for the masterclass show today so that we will have them in stock for you in the US. So please don't worry uh, about that. And we're going to have a look at our guillotine now, I think. So all of the comments are coming in um, and they're fabulous. So thank you very much. And I know a lot of you are watching. Um, and you've loved the foil press let me just move this out of the way for a second and then we're going to have a little look at our guillotines which are an incredible paper trimmer i mean you just watched me earlier slice through two layers of 300 gsm cardstock found the packaging for that die back in the bag so what happens when you tidy up you find things you thought you'd lost um, and it can cut so much more and under here under my magic counter I have got so many different bits and types of cardstock that we're going to have a look at cutting out. So I'm just going to go for a little rummage and find some of this cardstock, some of this cardstock, some of this cardstock. Let's get a whole pile of that. That looks good to me. Uh, oh, I think this will be enough. Why not? Now, I could do with some photocopy paper. Have I got some thin paper here? There's some thinner pieces there. That will do nicely. Good, right. Everything I need at my fingertips. So, with our guillotines, the guillotines have been built around the quality blade. And let me just talk to you about that. So, when I was building the guillotine uh, with our manufacturers, I wanted a trimmer that was incredibly reliable and would just cut whatever you wanted to throw at it, but most importantly, would cut it accurately so that you didn't have a donkey's back leg on your mats and layers. For the last 15 years that I've been paper crafting, my top tip has always been mat and layer, mat and layer, mat and layer when you come to creating your projects at home. But to be able to do a quality mat and layer, mat and layer, mat and layer, you need nice, straight, crisp edges on whatever it is that you're cutting. Our guillotines will do that for you. So I found a manufacturer of exceptional blades, kitchen knives, the like, um, and then challenged them with making a product that would cut with the precision of a really good quality kitchen knife, but for our paper craft at home. And that's what we've got with our guillotine. And of course, we built in all of these other fabulous features, like the scoring board you seen me use earlier when I was using the Creator Card, um, and the scoring tool. The fact that this larger guillotine has its extendable legs, so you can go all the way up to, and including, 13 inches, which is very important for scrapbookers because you've got your full 12 inches and 12 inches for a 12 inch piece of cardstock when you're scrapbooking. But this is what sets our guillotine apart. So I'm going to cut a very small slither from the edge here. And look, warm knife through butter could not be more simple. This is the test of a good guillotine. Cutting a tiny slither, putting the two edges together, top and bottom, and having them be exactly the same size. I'm going to offset that off a little bit and show you, there you go, look, perfect shot. Thank you so much for that. There is no fly's eyelash off there. There's no donkey's back leg. There's no wobble. The top and the bottom of that cut are exactly the same size. That is the quality and the testament of an exceptional guillotine. Because of the knife that we've got in there, that's what you can rely on. So all of your cutting and chopping will be 100% perfect and accurate. And the small guillotine and the large guillotine work in exactly the same way. But even with your more challenging materials, like your mirror cards, look, I mean, honestly, I'm not, I, I'm good. Let me just show you. I'm going to do one finger. So you don't even need to have muscles and <laughs> you don't need to have any muscles because it really does just smoothly cut. And look, I'm, I've folded this because it's a coloured piece of cardstock, which makes it even easier for you to see how incredibly accurate that is. It is exactly the same size, top and bottom. And we encourage that really close shot when we're using our guillotines because we're cutting it live. We're showing you, putting the money where our mouth is, how fantastically accurate this is. And you can cut lots of material too. So I've got three pieces of 300 GSM cardstock here. I'm going to put that into my guillotine. So this is 900 GSM now that I'm cutting through because it's three 300 pieces. And I'm going to cut all the way through those three pieces. 
and then we're going to do the fold test on them. Number one is accurate. Number two, accurate. Number three, accurate. And I'm going to show you all of those. Number three, perfectly accurate. Number two, perfectly accurate. Number one, perfectly accurate. All three of those cut at the same time. No wobble, no move, no shift. So you can do it for mass uh, crafting as well. And developed with me and our manufacturers over in our uh, manufacturing facilities to make sure that you always get the very best quality. And that is why I absolutely love, with a passion, my job as a head of product development here at Crafters Companion because I get to set the standard and say that isn't good enough, try again, our crafters deserve better. Um, and we get the perfect, perfect product. Now, um, I think we're going to have a little chat with Ruth again in a second, aren't we? And so you just let me know when we're ready to have a chat with Ruth and we'll do that. Should I have a look at a couple of comments while we're, do while we're getting ready? Because uh, Ruth's just getting herself sorted. So let's, oh, let me remember this. I need to put my password in there. That wouldn't have worked. There we go. Um, let's see where we are. So we've got um, Donna, Donna Lutwijk on Facebook. I hope I've said that right, Donna. Let me know if I haven't pronounced your name correctly. I apologise if I haven't. Says, Leanne... I just love you. Well, Donna, thank you. I love you too. I love all of our crafters. I love having the opportunity through Crafters Companion TV, being able to come on here and chat with you and share experiences. I really, it makes my day every time I can do it. Um, you are the tonic to put a smile on my face so early in the day. I'm so pleased, Donna. I feel like I've achieved a day if I've done that for you because we all need to wake up with a smile on our faces, especially at the moment, don't we? So anything that can bring a little bit of joy and a smile is good by me. Panda Crafts on YouTube. Hello, Panda Crafts. Are the foil press goodie bags all the same? Do we see what we get? No, they're not all the same, Panda Crafts. So some of the contents will vary. Um, so if you buy two, you might get a double product. Not all double, but you might get some the same. So we are trying to do a good variation um, so that people, if want to get two, will get some different, but we can't guarantee that you wouldn't get two the same if that's what you want to do. However, the quantity and the quality in the goodie bag, there's a lot in there. So I would say just, you know, get yourself treat, treat to one because it's a fantastic deal. Right, I think we're ready to chat to Ruth now. Um, let's have a little chat. So hello again, Ruth. Hello. Oh, we can hear you now. You're not like Stan Boardman anymore. That's fantastic. <laughs> if people don't know who Stan Boardman is, do a little Google. He was a comedian back in the 80s. I'm sad that I can remember. Ruth probably wasn't even born. Um, and he used to do a... a you know, she's shaking her head, see? <laughs> and if, listen, I'm surrounded by young people. Imagine what that feels like to be an old woman, surrounded by talented young people every day. It's fantastic, actually. They keep me young. Um, he, used to do an, he used to do a little... Uh, comedy slot with a microphone where he pretended that the microphone wasn't working that's what you sounded like before but you know we'll not oh. hold that against you so tell us again Ruth <laughs> how long have you been with Crafters Companion I've been here for nearly seven years oh, that's so and Ruth have you got the itch <laughs> yes I do <laughs> a little bit <gasps> Well, we'll have a chat about that later, Ruth, and let's see what's making you itch, love. Um, okay, so let's have a look. So tell me what you love. What's your favourite product that you've designed for Crafters Companion? Um, oh, it's a tough one because I've designed so many over the years. Yes. But I think uh, one of my favourite ones has been a recent one that's just launched, which is the Sarah Karen Fox range. And that was one of my projects that I worked on from start to finish, so that was a really nice satisfying one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that just launched yesterday on HSN and it's coming very soon for our UK customers. Um, and it was fantastically popular, actually. Some of the dyes in there are some of my favourites across all of the ranges. The layerable rose and the layerable butterfly that you did in there, Ruth. I think they're exceptional. Paper pad was absolutely beautiful. And that was your work as well, wasn't it? Yes, it was. All your work. Brilliant. And I think when everybody's at home watching now and they can see the face behind the collection, it's wonderful to see um, our designers and know that they're designing all of these things for you themselves. Um, so, Ruth, tell me, what are you working on? Have you got a sneak peek of something that's coming up? Um, yes. Well, Ooh. I've got these, um, what we're calling floral frame stamp and dies. So basically, they're a lovely floral stamp that I've designed. And then each one comes with a die that cuts an aperture into your card so you get these lovely different effects. 
Now I have to I have to say hand on hand on heart this if I had to pick my favorite stamp and die range of all time I think these are a close runner for me because and, and I know it's a sneak peek but when you all see these guys my word are they going to blow your mind Ruth uh, so we've seen how fantastically talented Rachel is here doing her drawing live in the studio. Ruth is also a fantastic illustrator. And every one of these designs that you see here that Ruth is showing you, this little sneaky peek, she has drawn herself and made the die to match and cut out that aperture. And they are exceptional. I 100% can guarantee that. So brilliant that Ruth has been able to share that with us. Thank you very much, Ruth. Um, I think we're going to say bye to you now, Ruth. I'm going to give you a little wave okay. so you can go and crack on with what you're doing. See you later, love. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yes, we'll talk about your itch later. I'm sure she doesn't know what an itch is. I think she's too young to know what a seven-year itch is. I'm hoping to goodness she's too young to know what a seven-year itch is. I can see her. She's still in the vision on my little screen and she's like, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. Yeah. We'll have a chat later, Pet, in a review. Uh, Nothing to worry about. We'll just make sure that we scratch that itch for you, Ruth. Um, okay, now, at 4 p.m. today, we've got, um, in the UK, 11 a.m. in Eastern and 8 a.m. in Pacific time. And whatever that is in Australia, if our viewer can let us know what the Australian time is, please, because we can't forget the Australian viewers. Might be about 3 a.m. because it's a little bit after when it was. I'm just working. Let me know if I'm right with that. Um, we're going to have Creative Cravings, and Creative Cravings has got one, is, one of our fabulous craft kits in it. Um, and I think one of the most popular craft kits we've done, with from the feedback that we've had from you when you've seen this before. So please do tune in, and we will have a look at what we could do. I'm going to show you the samples first, actually, here, just so you can see what we do. And then I'm going to talk you through. Might not have time to make the whole thing, but I'll talk you through quickly how they're made and show you what they can do. And then, of course, you can tune in to Creative Cravings later, can't you? Um, and see exactly how they're made when we've got time, more time to do that for you. Uh, okay, here we go. So, our twirling character box is a fantastic range of uh, little characters which twirl in the middle of your cards. So I'm going to wind her up. Now, you get everything in this box. You get the dies, you get the papers, you get the stamps, you get the string, you get all of the things you need. You get the dies to make the aperture in the card. When she's wound up, are we ready? We're coming in, we're coming in, we're ready. Ba -ba! That is what a twirling character will do for you. And you've got the back design of her as well as the front design. So you've got all that 360 degree design in there to be able to twirl your characters. Now, what kind of characters do you get? Well, you get the little mermaid, you get a dolphin, love him he's the cutest little dolphin isn't he he's gorgeous uh, and these were actually drawn i believe from memory by one of our other talented designers who might be tuning in vicky um vicky is also excellent and is a, an amazing illustrator we also get this little girl with a balloon as well in there and then you get all of your other little bits and pieces now let me just let's have a look at the box contents and then let's have a look at how you would um assemble one of these. I mean, we've got a lovely little pack shot of it. Oh, there it is there. Look, you can see. So you've got those brilliant heart and scallop shapes to be able to do your apertures. You've got your stamps, your acrylic stamps in there, um, where you can see your little whale front and back. You've got your little girl and you've got your mermaid, a um, little girl who can be a boy as well, which I think is brilliant. Uh, just depends on how you colour them. And then we've got our gems in there, we've got our coloured cardstock in there, we've got our card blanks and envelopes, we've got our patterned papers, we've got our gems, and we've got the string to make the twirling. You've got everything you need in the box. All you need is a little die cutting machine. And the size of these dies, you don't need one of our electronic machines if you haven't done that yet. You can get the Gemini Mini or the MIDI, both available on our website. The Mini is actually just back in stock, so if you've been waiting for that for a while, get yourself along to the website for that um, and shop it up. All you need is a small die cutting machine to be able to make this work. Now, I've got one prepared here, so we can have a little talk through how to do it, and then we'll get a little bit more uh, time to have a chat to you and your comments. And we've got to go back and see Rachel and see what progress Rachel's been making, um, because I can't wait to see that. And I think all of your comments are absolutely spot on. Um, I think we should 
do a die and stamp range, even if it's only a die and stamp range that gets launched one product, and it is Rachel's die and stamp from uh, Wake Up with Leanne. <gasps> Wouldn't that be exciting? Oh, I think I'm, def I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing that. Now, what I've got here is a card base that I've decorated with some of the paper from the kit, and I've used the scallop die in the kit to cut through. Once I've matted and laid with my paper, I've used the scallop die and I've cut through to make the aperture. That's already in place. Then we've got our little dolphin guy, which would be front and back. Let me uh, make sure I've got this the right way. There he is. So there's the back view. So you see you can have a little boy dolphin as the front if you wanted and you could stamp him twice and have him on the reverse as well. Or you can have a little girl dolphin with a flower in her hair. It's up to you. You, you, know, you do whatever you prefer and actually you've got all of that versatility as well. Then we need our piece of string and the piece of string is going to go through the middle of the dolphin. So I'm just going to grab a tape pen and don't forget we're going to be doing this in much more detail in our Creative Craving shows later today where you get to see exactly how to do this in all of the detail and that is 4pm UK, 11am Eastern and 8am, sorry, 8am Pacific? Oh, 8am Pacific, God, I thought I'd made a mistake. 8am Pacific, I mean that's my, and we're guessing 3am Australia, somewhere around there. So and I have put that other little dolphin on top and I've sandwiched my string in the middle. So now what I do is turn my card and this is the front of my card and he needs to be sandwiched in the middle there. So I need to make sure he's the right way up. And then I'm going to use my, my tape pen to put a little bit of tape on here and here, which is where my string's going to go. There we are. There and there. Oh, and Sandra's just messaged in to say she would love to see more underwater dyes. <gasps> right. Well, that, I'm pleased you've told us about that because, you know, you're talking to head of product development now. So if anybody can do that for you, Sandra, it's me. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep that keep that in mind and keep, uh, keep that on board because actually yesterday in the shows I was doing yesterday, a couple of people, and I did a live in the HSN, uh, fans of HSN group yesterday, and there were a number of you actually saying to me, please can we have some more underwater dyes and stamps? So it must be a thing. Now I'm using some tape pen, you see I'm using a piece of card here just to um, secure that string so that it's not going to come out and I'm doing the same up here now actually this doesn't look very nice in the inside of your card what I would do if I was doing this at home myself is I would have made another card front like this on a spare piece of card stock and then it would have gotten lined up and so the whole front when you turn open it the whole inside matches the outside that is my preference but I'm just doing this for speed for you now Oh, Judy. Oh, Judy. Judy, Judy, you're asking for gnomes. That's all I've got to say, Judy. <laughs> you are going to be so excited. <gasps> Probably shouldn't have said anything. Nobody's watching, are they? No, it's every, all the bosses, everybody, you know, they're just not, they're not, they're not interested in this, are they? They're not watching. Judy. Excited. <laughs> now, what I do is trim off my string. I'm so naughty. Uh, trim off my string. Now, I would have coloured my little dolphin. Of course, I would have got my classics or my illustrators, my pencils, my sparklings, whatever my colouring medium is at home, and I would have used that. Um, but I'm not for today because actually you can see now how easy it is to put these together and we can wind him up. And actually I would use a wet glue, not a tape pen to put this. I'd be using my tacky glue so it was nicely secure. But I wind him up and let him go. Woo, there he is. Now we'll still see these demoed fully when it comes to creative cravings later on today. And I'll show you how to do this inside that we've been talking about now. So it's lovely and neat and matches the outside of your card. But you can see it's very easy. Just cut two of the characters, sandwich the string, put the string inside the card, cut your aperture and it works. And you've got everything you need in that box as well. Wow, it's been an absolute blast, hasn't it? 
I've really enjoyed today. Now, what should we do next? Should we do some... Oh, let's go to Rachel. Okay. Oh, so I think I'll have a look at a couple of questions and then let's see what Rachel's doing. Let's... let's... Rachel, you stay exactly as you are there. Don't look at me. You carry on. Let's have a look at what Rachel's concentration face looks like. Look. This is... Say, isn't she beautiful? I think Rachel could be a model. She's an absolute stunner. Honestly, she's beautiful. She is. Absolutely beautiful. And here's the thing. Sometimes be externally beautiful people aren't always beautiful inside, are they? Now, this, I feel like Mrs. Doubtfire now. This is like Life Lessons with Leanne. Rachel, beautiful inside and out. She's a gorgeous person. She really is. Sandy Priscorn. Oh, I love that name, Sandy. I love all the names of all of you people over there. On Facebook, what a great show enjoying seeing all the talent behind the scenes oh, i'm so happy sandy i really thought you know if i'm going to just stand in for craig while he's having a lie in rude. um then why not let's let's have a sneak peek behind the scenes let's show you everything that i don't get a chance to show you on a regular show i'm very excited about that oh loretta swindle she says Re loretta swindle she says what an amazing young lady and she absolutely is an amazing young lady. I agree. Loretta thinks you're amazing as well, Rachel. We all do. Uh, Claire Moore. Claire Moore on YouTube. Claire says, I used to use a normal guillotine. Finally treated myself to the small crafters companion guillotine before Christmas and ended up getting the larger one too at the beginning of the year. Not looked back since. Well, if that's all we say about that, that is fantastic. Thank you very much for sending that in. Rachel, how have you been getting on? How far have you got, my sweetheart? Yeah, I've finished some. Oh, keep it flat. I'll keep it flat there. That's lovely. Oh, okay. pull it. That's Can it. It's like the golden shot now. We're getting it in, we're getting it in place. Head backwards. Oh, there we go. <gasps> we're coming in. We're co oh, Rachel, have you done this in an hour? Can it, there, yeah. there we go, and then yeah. down towards you. There, there, up a little bit, up a little oh. bit. There <laughs> we go. Get there. Oh, oh, oh. there, there's yeah. perfect. Lovely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Now, I would like that as a stamp. I actually want to colour that right now. I want to yeah. get my Spectrum Illustrators out and colour that in. <laughs> All right, so thank you, Rachel. Right. Thank you very much thank for joining you. us and doing that beautiful piece of artwork no and being in the studio. I'm so grateful. <laughs> um, okay, so this has been Wake Up Call with Leanne. I feel like I've been through the ringer, guys. I feel like I've been through the ringer, um, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, remember the shows we've got coming up today, Craft Vault at 11 a.m., 6 a.m. Eastern, and 3 a.m. Pacific. Oh, the, and then, oh, yeah, we've got more time for Craft Vault because it comes twice, doesn't it? So then we've got 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern, and 11 a.m. Pacific time. And we are going to do different demonstrations in both shows. So both shows are entirely different. And I can tell you that for a fact because I am in both shows. Uh, and I've got different demos. Now, we've also got Masterclass today, which is at 1 p.m. in the UK, 8 a.m. Eastern, and 5 a.m. in the Pacific time. And then we've got Creative Cravings, which is 5 p.m. UK, 4 p.m., I beg your pardon, 4 p.m. UK, 11 a.m. Eastern, and 8 a.m. Pacific time. And then whatever the times are in Australia. <gasps> And thank goodness our Craig will be back tomorrow for your wake-up call at 9am in the morning um, and 4am Eastern and 1am Pacific all the times. Um, oh my word, what a blast I've had for this last hour. Craig's back tomorrow. Thank goodness. Please. Anyway, whew, I hope that it's been okay for you. I hope you've enjoyed this hour and you've enjoyed the sneak peeks. I can't wait to see you do the rest of the day. I'm going to go and get a cup of tea now and a massive bar of chocolate. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you again soon. I'll see you on our craft vault at 11am in the UK. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.